If you've played Hypixel Skyblock, you've probably heard of an item called the Aspect of the End. Now, this item's special ability lets you teleport forward a short amount of blocks, and you also gain a temporary speed boost. Now, you're probably thinking this item sounds pretty useful, which it is. It can help you get up to high places, or set yourself on fire if you want that, and save yourself from dying in the void. If it's useful in Skyblock, it would also be useful in vanilla. And that is exactly what I've done today. I have recreated this item in vanilla Minecraft using a data pack. Alright, this is just going to be a quick demonstration of how to make and use the sword. You're going to need the items in this chest. A crafting table, a block of iron, a diamond sword, six stacks of ender pearls, and those are stacks of 16 as you cannot stack them any higher, and 32 eyes of ender. And these two items down here are for testing purposes only. So you're going to grab these two, place your crafting table down, and drop your block of iron on top of it. Then you can take your diamond sword, your ender pearls, and your eyes of ender, and make the recipe as shown. A diamond sword in the bottom middle, ender pearls on the sides, like this, and then your eyes vendor in the remaining slots. And you will get the aspect of the end. As you can see, right click, instant transmission, teleport forward a short amount. And right clicking with it does exactly that, teleporting you forward a short amount. It also gives you a bit of a speed boost as the one on the pixel does. It is a bit longer though because I feel like the three seconds it gives you on Skyblock is a bit too short. Now, this can teleport you in any direction, and it will teleport you exactly where you look at. Like this, it can be used to get on high places, and across gaps as well, like that. Or like this. And it is a bit dangerous, as you can go up pretty high and take fall damage, or teleport yourself into lava or underground too. Now, this can be used to phase through blocks, for example this wall, now on the other side, now I'm back over. So I hope you enjoyed this demonstration, and let's get into the next segment of installing the pack. The first thing you're going to want to go ahead and do is create a new world. Now it doesn't have to be a new world, it can be an existing one, and the process for installing it is pretty similar, but I will not be covering that in this video, so you can look up how to install data packs on YouTube or Google, it doesn't really matter. But let's jump straight into installing it. First thing you're going to want to do is name your world, obviously. Let's just call it AOTE Testing. And make sure you have cheats enabled right here. And the most important button here is the data packs button. So, in here, you're going to want to press open pack folder and then do the following. After this folder has opened, you're going to want to go ahead and drag these two files inside. Yours will probably be .zip files, but mine are folders. Now, make sure when you open it that it goes straight to data and pack.mc meta. If it goes to another folder, then you're going to want to take that folder and put it back into this data packs folder here. So you're going to need your AOTE pack and also blue lib. Make sure those are both installed or it will not work. After you have those installed, you should see them here. Now, it may say incompatible and it'll be like red, but it should work depending on what version you are in. If you need any help, comments or Discord server are always there. So just enable these, then you can press done and create your world. Alright, after you load into your world, you're going to want to run the function, function slash function bl start. And that should create all the commands that you need. And then to test it, you can grab your crafting table and your iron blocks. Simple as this, throw one on top, and that should work. Now let's just craft, test out the crafting recipe just to make sure it does indeed work. Let's grab all the items, like this, eyes of ender. And it does work, and the sword ability works as well. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Join my Discord server, subscribe, like, all that. 
and I'll see you in the next one. If you have any suggestions, please leave them below. And remember, install the data pack in the description. It really helps out a ton. Subscribe, like, all of that, and goodbye.